Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. So, this will be what is new in love. So, you guys got a stocking ass ex. Your ex just will not let you go. A few of you, excuse me, a few of your exes won't let you go in this pile. I don't know why it's annoying me so bad. And I just began to read Unrequited Love, Passion, Wedding. Codependency in reverse. What's new in love with Pile One? What's new in love for part one? <laughs> Separation, express your love. So what's new in chemistry? What's new in love? Is this some this is someone you have two you have more than one person coming in in this pile. Somebody from the past with unrequited love and somebody that's new that you have a lot of like you're very you're gonna be very very attracted to them this person i feel like is tall they're tall they're handsome very handsome to you and they're tall the new person's tall you like their height or you're gonna like their height you're gonna really enjoy how tall they are and how feminine they make you feel because of their size and their height. You're really gonna love that in this pile. You also have an ex coming through back, back around to play games. What's my love for part one? this new person you're gonna get married to some of you guys just could have just got out of a marriage this ex person could be your ex fiance your ex husband or they will be your ex husband ex fiance but the next person you meet is also gonna want to marry you they're gonna be taking you very very seriously Cause you're a very good girl. You give me good girl vibes. Yeah, you're gonna really enjoy this new person coming in. You could be seeing 333 a lot. Yeah, you guys are gonna instantly have a very great connection. It's not gonna feel forced. It's gonna feel very genuine. It's gonna make you feel very happy. Cause I don't feel like, I feel like you needed something to spark your interest. You needed something to uplift your spirits. You needed a fun connection. Someone who makes you feel open. Someone who makes you feel free. And I'm getting that energy from this new person coming in, in your life. They're gonna make you feel open, make you feel free, make you feel free to be yourself. They're not as controlling as your last partner. I feel like your last partner was very, very controlling, narcissistic and smothering. It felt like you couldn't breathe. It felt like you was always doing something wrong. It felt like you were always walking on eggshells. You were very on and off. A lot of just, I feel like you're, that person's gonna come back in, honestly to try to redo that cycle with you but for a lot of you guys this new person is going to come in at the exact same time or the perfect timing to where you're actually considering going back to your ex and this person is going to remind you that not everyone's the same and that this person is going to be like like i want to say the complete opposite 
and it's gonna feel very good and refreshing and brand new. Like I keep like refreshing, fresh, new. You're gonna, it's almost, what's new I love pal one is that it's gonna feel like a, a very new clean slate for you. Like you're gonna feel renewed, like a brand new person. You're gonna wanna delete your whole past dealing with them. Like it's gonna feel that good, good with the sun coming up. I think the sun is like a reminder that you, you've gotten out of that last relationship into something that feels really, really good. It almost feels too good to be true. What's new in love is gonna, it's gonna feel too good to be true for you. Please, please promise me, Power One, you're not gonna go back to your ex because this feels like a fantasy, a fairy tale with this new person. I don't want you to run away from it because you obviously want something new. That's why you're at this reading. But I feel like something in you knows you don't deserve that treatment that you are getting from this past person. You don't deserve to be treated that way. That's not the type of love that you deserve. And so this new person coming in is going to confirm that for you because you needed that. You needed someone to remind you that you're lovable. And it's not that you forgot. Possibly, yeah, because you were dealing with this narcissist. Like, I feel like they were doing a lot of gaslighting. And it made you feel like that's the type of life that you deserve. And that's the only life that you can have. But that's definitely just a way that they were getting you to stay stuck and stay trapped with them. But this new reality that this new person is going to bring you is going to feel so good. Maybe even too good, honestly. Like, it's going to feel like you're dreaming. You're in a fairy tale. Yeah, you're not going to know how to react to it at first. You're going to feel like you want to go back to that dark past or that toxic way of being in a relationship. It's like you almost forgot how to accept happiness and how to accept love. Like you forgot how it felt to be courted or to feel appreciated. With no love is you're gonna feel more appreciated. You could be age 26. You could be in your thirties. Or you could be in your early twenties for some of you guys. Dealing with an older person. This person I feel like is going to be older. I feel like they have a mustache or a beard as well. For some of you guys. But they are definitely. I'm getting like. I'm seeing like a tall man. You can have to surrender to this new connection coming in. Even if you're scared. You have to surrender. You should be more scared of this ex than you are the new person shit. Cause this fucking new ex gives fucking stalker like, I'm not gonna lie. It's like you can't even like, This new person's gonna be patient with you. Yeah. This new person's gonna be very understanding and patient with you. Look what she's writing down. Look what the book says. They're gonna inspire you to follow your dreams. They're gonna motivate you, they're gonna uplift you. They're going to respect you. They are going to come in at a time where you feel alone or you feel like love isn't worth it anymore. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever got your heart broken. Well, obviously I'm getting the energy that you have, but 
it's like that feeling of you got your heart broken so bad, got treated so poorly that it's like this love is love isn't even worth seeing if it's still out there, if it's yeah. It's like this person's actually going to put you back into that dreamy energy that you were in before you met your ex. Self-respect, yeah. Gardener. You guys are gonna do a lot of outdoor activities. A lot of outdoor, like traveling, eating outside and stuff like that. Picnics or just th things that are subtle and small, but they're so meaningful. They make you feel so happy inside. Yeah, love. They make you feel so happy inside to just be feeling, yeah, that's so sweet. They're gonna do like little thoughtful, romantic things for you. That just feels, like I said, like a fairy tale, like a dream. Oh my God. I would say write down like what you expect out of your dream partner so he can come in with the inner peace card that she's writing down whatever it is in that notebook, I feel like whatever you expect out of love for this new person to come in, I would just write it down. Like a few things that you would really, really enjoy and love in a partner. Cause I feel like this person is very romantic. Then this, this new person coming in. It's not gonna feel forceful. It's not gonna feel suffocating. And they're going to acknowledge your feelings. And they're better in sex. <laughs> they fuck better than your ex. If I'm going to keep it 100. And they got more money. The fuck? Dick better and the money good? They got a better job than your ex. They have a really good job with abundance. They have a better job with, they make more money than your ex. They're still gonna find the time though to talk to you, make dates for you, show up for you. And their dick good. The dick is great. Forgiveness. Forgive your past self for accepting that type of treatment. Forgive your ex for yourself, not for them. So you can enjoy this person this new person but you have to forgive this past person to enjoy this new person because if not you'll still be holding on to them and you don't want to project your past onto this new person because this feels like really good energy i'm not gonna lie they're gonna have you have you super happy and they're gonna put you on a super high pedestal but first you gotta forgive or this person's gonna help you take that next next step in forgiveness because i feel like right now with emotional freedom you are Taking the time that it takes to genuinely forgive someone, but this person coming in is gonna make you like completely forgive this person, like close the door, shut. They're gonna finalize you forgiving this person completely. If you've been struggling with forgiving this person, because like, I feel like some of you guys are like, how could someone treat me that way? Or how could I even accept that type of treatment? And it's like, you're gonna, completely forgive yourself and completely forgive this past person because of this new person coming in and how they treat you and how they talk to you and how they listen to your emotions and how they actually want to communicate healthy and in a mature way like they actually want to communicate about the problems to solve it they're patient with you they're kind they're gentle they're like yeah it's going to help you realize that you can move on and you can forgive people even if they are like a complete asshole, honestly. So that's what I see for you and that's what I have for you. If it didn't help and did sound like your situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post. Hi, pal two, welcome to your reading. So this will be what is new in love for you guys. 
the pink pile too. For What's new love? Honeymoon? You guys are gonna spend the holidays together. You and this new person are gonna spend Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. together or you met them around this time or somebody's birthday but i feel like a lot of you guys it's just you guys are gonna what's no love you guys are going to be in a relationship by the time the holidays come together come and you guys are going to spend the holiday time together like genuinely together like spend um putting up decorations spending time with each other buying each other gifts that's so cute because I'm seeing a couple like honestly moved in or visiting each other's apartment or house and you guys are like putting stuff in like stockings hanging things up like literally doing like all that cute stuff love yourself first in reverse I feel like you've been doing a lot of self love this person is so into you they love how you're into yourself they love how you're heavily involved in things like you like to do things for the holidays you like to do things for your birthday their birthday like you're super invested in things like what's going on you like to be like you follow certain trends you like to just be updated with like social media and stuff like that they like how like concerned you are with things going on and like this person has a lot in common with you like they see you as someone who's heavily involved in their own life like you're hella conscious and you're hella like present in your life you don't really they can see you're not searching to be anyone else or you're not searching for something because nothing's missing like they see you as very heavily abundant and involved in your own life so they see you as very thoughtful and they love these things about you like they love how thoughtful you are how compassionate you are and how intelligent you are like this person's in love with your brain the new person coming in is going to be in love with your intellect and how in your heart like how you love to give how you love to better like the environment the world animals children like they see how involved you are in your own life their life like they just see all the good qualities in you and they love it they pay attention to the little details they love how you put your outfits together they love your sense of style like this person is just all over you they want to just they want to honestly they want to be with you all the time calling your soulmate separation so you guys won't be separated for long but like you're gonna run into this person meet them right after this read this reading is timeless by the way so it doesn't matter when you find this uh, video or how long it's been up on my channel, you guys. After looking at this uh, reading, you're gonna find them pretty quickly. Free yourself. True love. Some of you guys could have been drawn to Pow One. If you weren't, then it's okay. But some of you guys were drawn to multiple piles. So there could be some messages in other piles for you. Yeah, this person's going to spend a lot of time with you in this pile. Like a lot of time.
they're gonna take you to a special place in this pile because we got a honeymoon but we also have like a waterfall here so i feel like they want to take you to a very like special place a very intimate place yeah soulmates both of you guys could be in your 30s or in your 20s or about to be 20 about to be in your 20s You guys are gonna be doing a lot together. You guys are gonna be like, I feel like going to the gym together, doing yoga together. Going to different locations together with honeymoon. Road trips, traveling together, whether on a plane or driving around the country, the city. But it's like, you guys don't wanna just, you guys wanna, you guys are heavily involved in the community around you. Like you guys love to explore do different things. I'm seeing you guys like building like a a gingerbread house and everything like decorating the pumpkins and stuff. I also see honestly seeing a baby a gen, a baby gender reveal. So I don't know if this is like you're going to end up marrying this person and having kids with this person literally. Or if you guys are going to even, like, take each other to, like, friendly events like that, like, family events. What's new love? You're going to be taking them to meet your parents. They're going to take you to meet their parents and stuff, their family. So you guys are going to, for me to say all this, you guys are going to be very serious, this next person. It's going to be, in a, it's going to be a, a long-term commitment. Cause both you guys want the same thing both you guys have the same values morals like you guys are like when it comes to values and morals and what you guys see for your future you guys are in alignment with that it's hard to find somebody who sees similar interest in how you guys want to build a family and a marriage because you guys could both could be like spiritually and mentally and sexually aligned and all that but it's like when it comes to morals and religion sometimes well not really but when it comes to like traditions and how you want things to be like, like living situations and stuff like that, it could be hard sometimes because some people just, I don't know, want different things or grow apart. But I don't see that happening in this in this style at all. Sexuality, let me see. What can about to expect in love? Healing family issues as well. I'm surprised that didn't come out. But with this, I'm getting like, meeting this person is gonna help you forgive your parents, forgive somebody or a couple people in your family that hurt you. Like they're gonna help you move on from that because they're gonna like, I wanna say they're gonna talk like wisdom into you with this card here. It's like your next person is gonna talk wisdom into you and wisdom of like, how you should go about the situation and i thought you guys gonna get really deep in this part like i'm seeing you crying them crying you're gonna help them resolve things with their parents or their siblings or possibly somebody that hurt them in their family dynamic that like betrayed them like made them feel like they can't trust nobody and you too because you're gonna be able to trust this person they're going to be able to trust you. like Because I feel like both of you guys felt like you guys couldn't trust again ever again. Because if family can cross you, if somebody like I guess an ex or somebody that you love and you're having sex with can cross you. If blood can cross you, like anyone can cross you. So I feel like both of you guys or one of you guys had this mentality and the other one or both of you guys are going to help each other move past that grow past that so you guys can't both open your heart chakras up for this connection to become stronger and more connected with true love and free yourself like it's more so like freeing yourself from like that way of thinking that you can never trust anyone and everyone can do you like that or never you know what i mean i like that so this person feels like a lover and family i'm not gonna lie somebody you could start a family with
You guys might actually be friends first. It might be one of those connections where you guys meet thinking that it's just going to be friends or something like that. And then you end up falling in love with each other. It's like... Here I am thinking that you're a friend of mine and I'm dating other people and so are you. And we're coming to each other for advice about people that we're dating. But the more and more we kind of have the same viewpoint on relationships and we have the same like thought process about the things that's happening, we're kind of more so like getting closer and closer to each other and wanting to like, hey, maybe we should try to be together. Like, see where this is going. Like, I don't think it would cross your mind at first. You'll just think this person is just super, super, like, nice or super giving. Or you might even look at them like a older sibling or like a... You might not even... Like, that's what I'm saying. Some of you guys, this is very specific, but you might not look at them at first like a husband or like a boyfriend. It might just come off super friendly. Like them helping you at the store, helping you at the gym, or helping you wherever you guys are. I think they're going to like help you solve something or help you with something that's confusing you. And then you guys are going to like connect, I guess, ask for like social, me like social media accounts or like maybe the number. And just, I don't know. For some of you guys. But that wanted to come through strongly. Divine Feminine. You definitely could be saying 11, 11 a lot while talking to this person. So if you meet a person and all you see is 11, 11 and 333 three, three a lot. Or 111. This is definitely the person that I'm talking about. Especially 11, 11. Yeah, some of you guys definitely were drawn to power one. You guys are going to have such a strong bond. You guys are going to be hella comfortable with each other. That's why I feel like family. Like, you guys are going to feel, okay, that could mean why you guys are going to do a lot of holiday things and a lot of, like, celebrating together. Celebrating each other. Celebrating your anniversary. Because anniversary. this person wants to do things like that. They've always wanted to do things like that, but they just could never find a partner. I feel like you too. Maybe you never could find a partner that was that interested in doing things like that or keeping up with things like that. But you guys are going to keep up with holidays, anniversary dates, birthdays, um, stuff like that. You guys are going to have a very cozy home as well if you guys decide to move in. Because a lot of you guys are going to actually move in and have kids, honestly. Like, your, your home is going to be extra cozy. You guys are going to decorate it to where it's extra cozy. Distorted feminine. This person is going to heal you. Sacred woman. They're gonna like help you heal a lot of things in your life. They're gonna help you heal yourself. You already you already are very healed with love yourself first coming up. But this person is just only gonna embrace what you already are. So they're gonna intensify who you already are as a person. Yeah. I like this energy, honestly. This gives divine feminine and divine masculine coming together, especially with the yin yang that came out. They feel very grounding, I'm not gonna lie. Like they ground you, you ground them because you're the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and they're ready and so are you. You guys have been searching for each other for a very long time. But I feel like it's not gonna like, you're not gonna receive it right when you guys meet each other, but you guys are gonna start to realize this is the person I've been wanting and needing and praying about. You've been right here sitting in my face the whole time. I think you're gonna gradually catch on that this is your person. 
But like I said, it's gonna come off so smooth and subtle and so like gentle. Like the love here is gonna feel so gentle that I don't think it's gonna come off that passionate. It might, but it's gonna be gentle at first, very gentle, very concerning and very caring for some of you guys. So that's what I have for you. If it did help and it's like a situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post. Hi, Pal 3, welcome to your reading. So this will be new in love, what's new in love? What can Pal 3 expect from love? Deception, <laughs> retreat. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I don't know, I'm already in a bad energy from this pile because my cards ain't fall all damn day and then now they fall all on the floor. Give your relationship a chance. They give me a bad feeling. Forgiving and learning. Trust and unrequited love. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, this is like somebody who's gonna come in before you meet your person. I'm not gonna lie. This feels like somebody who literally sold themselves to the devil. They have no soul. They have no conscience. They have no spiritual awareness. They gaslight you a lot or they did gaslight you. They still do gaslight you or when they come in, they're going to gaslight you. This person doesn't know themselves. They don't want to get to know themselves. They're very empty and very hollow and shallow. They like to cause drama, cause trouble. They, I, feel, I feel like they have a spirit over them. They have some sort of like a uh, spirit over them, entity, demon, whatever you want to call it, parasite. Um, I don't know what it is taking them over like this, but I don't feel like, I feel like they completely got rid of their soul and invited like a demon to take control of the, like the inside of their body, if that makes sense. So it's like a parasitic entity or spirit in their mind, like took over their brain. And they have like this compulsion to dominate you they have this like obsessive energy like to dominate you and to control you whatever entity that took over this person's being or vessel is being driven to control you and to manipulate you belittle you confuse you abuse you because this entity can't leave hell and they can't leave this realm. The only realm they can leave is hell and be here. So here or hell is the only place they could go. They can't go to heaven and they can't reach like higher realms than the physical. So you know how we're conscious and we can move through our higher being and talk to God through our crown chakra and all that. And our third eye, we can reach higher beings. We can reach higher entities, spirits, um, ancestors, whoever went to heaven, whatever, God, we can reach God consciousness. 
through our dreams, being awake, synchronicities and all that, this spirit or this entity, I really wanna, I don't even think it's a spirit. It's more devious than a spirit. Like I said, it's like an entity, a demon that is trapped. The only realm they've ever known is hell. Like a very, very low, 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 low vibration. They don't know, they've never seen or felt any other realm that's higher, that's free. Cause look how he's like, it's almost like she, he's grabbing her hair. Y'all, spiritual protection is real, even over your partners. Cause it, it might not be that this person wants to act this way. Like that's what I'm getting. It's not this person in particular. I think this person just doesn't have a strong sense of identity. They didn't take a long time or they didn't get any time to get to know themselves to prevent an entity from coming inside of them. Like they invited this demon inside of them or they unknowingly, unconsciously invited this demon inside of them through whatever they were doing to attach whatever this demon or entity liked alcohol sex um crime lying whatever it was that this entity loves or is very familiar with that latches i don't know what it was that and but it's like this person i feel like it's empty and hollow it's not because they're empty and hollow on purpose but this entity knew that this person didn't have um, safety and boundaries and a protective barrier over their aura in their body and stuff like that. So they were like, this person's perfect. And I know we can use this person to torment PAL3 because PAL3 has been to other realms. They can kind of feel your energy is different from theirs. So they almost want to possess it or and keep you around. They want to keep you around as much as they can to waste up your time. It's like a time spell. Like they want you to fall victim to this person in a relationship. Like I feel like this person and this relationship is very um draining and toxic possibly this could be a soulmate i'm not gonna lie i just felt like this person doesn't have like um this person doesn't have they didn't have um a protective a protecting barrier if that makes sense like maybe they don't pray a lot they don't pray they don't protect themselves they don't do protection spells they're just wide open for any and everything to come through, if that makes sense. Like they don't. Retreat, I feel like this, what the hell is going on in this pile? Cause this is what's new and loud. So I don't know if you're going to meet this person or you already know this person and they're going to come back in after retreating, it's time to dis disconnect from the world. Past life relationship. Oh no, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Adam was evil. Cause why else would um Eve wanna eat the apple that she knew that was like gonna have consequences, like Maybe Adam fucking was gaslighting Eve and Eve wanted to eat the apple so that she could know the truth. 
I don't fucking know. With past like relationship, I feel like Pay attention to the red flags, chemistry. What type of freaky shit was even Adam into or what, what was Adam into? Cause it's like they were both naked. But when she ate the apple, they put on she put on clothes, like she knew to put on clothes. So it's like she wanted to know the truth. Cause she felt very exposed. Like she wanted to it's like it's like once you know something, you protect yourself from it. And then two of Lilith is true and she was first. Why she leave? Hmm. I don't know what's going on in this pile, but what's new in love is this person. Um, I don't know. They seem evil, but... evil and possessed i'm not gonna lie i'm sorry so if the new person that comes into your life seems off then stay away from them repenting yourself Definitely need boundaries with this person. This new person coming in, you definitely need boundaries. You don't want to invite whatever they invited into them. You don't want to invite that onto you. And the reason why whatever they're dealing with can't really come on to you like that is because you still have a soul. Uh, inner self you have an identity you know yourself you reach higher realms you know what heaven feels like you you talk to god you know god you know the divine you are divine it's you can't penetrate a, a being like that who isn't confused about themselves So the positivity out of this whole reading is you you can't be tricked. You can't be tricked or fooled by this person. But I would still say have boundaries and protect yourself because it looks she's doing like a protection spell. She has very healthy boundaries and she is very well. Like her aura looks super healthy. I'm not gonna lie. Your aura in this pile is super healthy. It's golden, it has hearts, it has rainbows, it has flowers, it has butterflies, it has diamonds, it has stars. It has your older self protecting your inner child. Like your aura and your being is super healthy. 
You got familiars around you, spirit animals, spirit insects, the moon, candle magic, if that's a candle, like, but what's new in love is somebody possessive and weird and possessed. They're going to want to have sex with you really badly. Because that's the way they can enter you in this pile. They can't enter you through the mind and through the aura. So they're going to find ways to get this person to have sex with you. That could be why I said that Eve thing that she wanted to put on clothes. And how um, Lilith didn't even want to fuck that nigga. You get a few more. Her aura is, oh my God, your aura is so fucking gifted and divine and strong and powerful. It's like this entity can see your shit from far, far, like you can see it, like, cause it's been in the dark. Like I said, this, the entity don't know nothing but hell in the physical realm. The highest is the highest this entity can get is to the physical realm. Life purpose. Look at this fucking aura. Spirit animals, familiars coming to you and shit. Birds, owls, lions. Look at all this. What the fuck? That's crazy. Don't let this person have sex with you. Love, my God. Don't let this person have sex with you. Cause they're gonna come off super like, lusty. And honestly like a fucking creep, super thirsty to jump in bed with you in this pile. Nobody's that fucking horny. Nobody's that fucking horny for someone. Damn, look at this. I'm telling you. Inner peace. Look at that aura. She's like in space. You're psychic and you're super divine and super healed. But this, like I said, this person wants you bad. And it's not even this person really, it's whatever is inside of this person. But yeah, so that's what I have for you. If it did help in this psychic situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post.